Sorry you guys, I got a hit, little head start without you. All I did was rebuild the whole engine. Um, I just really needed to concentrate on that. I'm not a professional engine builder by any means. I'm a professional transmission builder with limited experience on building engines. And therefore, I wanted to make sure I torqued everything perfectly and I wasn't distracted. So at the moment, at this moment in time, I'm putting the timing cover back on, the belts on, injector rails in, manifolds on head, valve cover, cams are all torqued. Um, I definitely torqued the head bolts correctly. Um, but I didn't have the right torque wrench for the cam caps, so I kind of know what uh, 62 inch pounds feels like, and I can measure degrees with my eyes. So, <sighs> all right, let me finish just getting this together here. The timing cover is on. What do you say we go ahead and get the water pump pulley on next? Okay, I do have the swivel thing now. The uh, timing cover is going to come back off and slide down into the lower timing cover first because the water pump's rubbing it. Each of these blasts of air that come, wind, uh, feels like I'm getting slapped in the face with an iceberg. Whew, this, uh, this thing better run. Oh, I'm just kidding, I think. It looks like it goes on the, like, with the lower pulley, lower timing cover, I mean, on the outside. Or, well, this on the outside. It's, it's kind of what it looks like with that groove there. I think my problem was having a dowel pin popped out. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Oh, that was a cold gust. Oh, it's okay. I'm a real man, and real man don't complain about the cold. <laughs> it was so freaking cold out here. Bolting that daggum old nader on here. Old nader. <laughs> oh, all right. Tight. Now to get this belt on here. Done. It'll catch and like flip on there. So moving on, I'm going to get the, no, oh, no. Um, I was going to look up the routing diagram, but it looks pretty b -b 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 basic up in here. Uh, it looks like we go around the crank pulley last probably with that stretchy belt. Uh, Non-rib side on here, rib side here, and rib side on the AC compressor. Okay. Time to go and to land down under. Shout out to all my Australian viewers. Y'all are awesome. There's a little song I wrote called I Don't Know What I'm Doing. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope this is going on. Aww. Oh, that was a heck of a gust of wind right there. No. The uh, belt kind of went on on its own here, and that's going to have to do for now. See the little crack in it? Oh, it feels good to be this far along. Getting close, boys. Getting close. Yeah, that is no longer a Bluetooth ignition coil. That is a t temporary thing here. <laughs> Time to do a cold flow test of uh, uh, American XT. <laughs> the cheapest oil from... Uh, the uh, dollar store it is 35 degrees Fahrenheit there we go. that's not bad 35 Fahrenheit so what like two degrees Celsius I don't know this is just temporary oil by the way I'm just gonna run it for 30 minutes here hopefully it runs and I'm <laughs> then change it again I definitely should have started the engine before pouring coolant in just to make sure everything's okay but uh, eh, eh, let's take a chance all right okay I'm uh, I'm nervous. I am nervous right now. Let's see if it'll start, guys. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. The time has finally come. All this back aching, freezing weather working is... Oh, it stinks in here. Um, let's see. Oh, please. 
Um, I'm going to do clear flood mode just to circulate oil a little bit and um, see if it's got compression. No! Sometimes you just gotta walk away. That's a big old pile of brush. <laughs> Alrighty. Catch my breath here. As you see when I was cranking it up, sorry for the wind noise if there's any. See when I was cranking it over there, it was putting combustion gases in the bottle there. Yep. Good old combustion gases. Bubbles. <laughs> um Yep. This job absolutely mutilated my back this weekend, so it kind of stinks that it was all for nothing, but let me pull spark plug number two out. There's number two. That was one of the two cylinders that were wet when I had the head off. Yeah, it's wet. I'm going to crank the engine over to see if coolant spits out of there. Okay. No? Gurgle, gurgle. Got a compression tester, but none of these fittings seem to want to thread in, so, uh, so I'll do it this way. Uh, just shut off. Absolutely zero compression. Yep. If I were a betting man, I bet there's a giant crack down the cylinder wall on one of these cylinders. But either way, stay tuned next weekend for Ford Fiesta engine removal. <sighs> Thanks for watching.